Man, look at those cliffs. Used to climb them all the time when I was a kid. So dangerous. They also used to wrestle bears and get into bare knuckle fights. I used to borrow money from the mob that I knew I couldn't pay back, but I took it anyway. I would sneak around with their wives while I was at it. I even searched for rattlesnakes and tall grass. I used to take a lot of serious risks as a kid, but I was still taking a risk with my cholesterol. So I talked to my doctor, and he said along with diet and exercise, I should be taking Lipitor. Listeners, we have two very special guests with us, two members of the Keystone Police Department, here to see yours truly. Turn off the broadcast. You see, I'm running a campaign on transparency, and I think the students should hear this. Yeah, and you know what? Something tells me they'd enjoy some smooth jazz right about now. All right. What do you two want to know? We want to ask you a few questions, McFly. Do you mind? Uh, yeah, I do mind, and don't call me McFly. My name is Edwards. Martin Edwards. Oh, but we already know so much about you, McFly. Yeah, like how you called a murder victim a bitch on the radio. Then crack jokes about her the day she dies. Not a good look, Marty. It's not mine. Well, I was picking it up for a friend. You expect me to believe that? Well, I don't know, Michaels. Maybe he's telling the truth. I mean, bad what he was doing, but it's not like we caught him actually using it. Or worse, selling it. Yeah, you're right. He was probably holding on to that brick for someone special. <laughs> Whatever, man. See, our boy here was going to get more kids coked up on this school than Scarface, am I right, Cameron? Listen, I'm telling you the truth. Come on, man. Who cares what he was planning to do with it? I mean, with tuition at this school, I would have been doing the same thing. Truth. You want to let him go? Yeah, just confiscate the blow and let him go. He's a drug dealer. We can't just let him walk. Come on, he's harmless. Let him go. You're right, he's harmless. Let's let him go so he can knock you out again like he did in that church. You know me, I'm a forgiving guy. You're from New York. Your people aren't exactly forgiving. No, I'm all for letting him go. Just as soon as he explains why he ran from us last night. Yo, Tyrone, what you find, man? Food stands! Yo, Tyrone! I think someone killed this fool for his food stands! Oh, sm It's the return of the welfare killer! Mr. Solomon, what do you have to say about Wayne Grogan? I'll keep it simple. If Wayne Grogan was to ask me for a drink, I would go into the kitchen, fill a glass with drain cleaner, and watch him die. You don't understand, because, like, I, I was thinking, like, I kind of wanted to go for the kiss, but I wasn't sure, like, because I was thinking, maybe she doesn't want to go for the kiss. But then I saw you putting on chapstick earlier, so I thought, maybe she does want to go for the kiss, but then it wasn't flavored, so I thought, no, maybe she doesn't want to go for the kiss, but it's the third day, right? I should be kissing you, otherwise you'd think, maybe I'm not into you, but, but at the same time, like, what if I'm going too fast? And, and then like the armrests, they just got in the way and, and it just, it, cause it was like kind of side and front and I, I don't know, I don't know. It was just, <sighs> you know what? Can we just like get out of the car and hug like two normal people? <sighs> okay. See? Wasn't that so much better? I think we should see other people. <laughs> oh, come on, darling. Where's this man you want us to meet? Well, he's right over here. Come on in, Barry! <laughs> uh, so, Barry, this is my family. My parents, Mama Sue and Daddy Rick. This is like the third time you brought some animal into our home. He's my boyfriend. And we like each other. Ain't that right, Barry? <laughs> I think that means yes. I do not approve of this. Not one bit no daughter of mine is going to marry no grizzly bear. He's a black bear. Not all bears look the same, Daddy. Let's get right to it. Trees are naturally attracted to lightning. 
because our moisture creates a negative charge. If you get caught in a storm, you should rub yourselves against a fellow tree. So on a day like today, you have to be extra careful. Time to rub one out. Hello, man. How you guys doing? Good, Red. How about you? Man, I am so buzzed right now. You're all under arrest. No way. I'm too pretty for prison. Oh man, I could really use my scholarships. And I could get exported. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, oh, oh. Hey. Yeah, girl. Oh, my. Hey. See you. Mm -hmm. Hey, baby, you look lost. Why don't you come on over here and I'll show you how to get the way home. <laughs> no, not even that, Ma. Why don't you stay here for a little bit, you know? This is what you were. Mm. Do you guys write your own material? Yeah, girl. I do things to you that you wouldn't like. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Like? Like, you know, I'll take you to dinner. I'll make you pay the tip, because cause I'm a thug. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> That's right. All right, thug. I'll be needing your motorcycle and your jacket. What are we saying now? Wow, <laughs> this place looks great. You weren't kidding when you said to dress up. Yeah, yeah, this uh, this place is pretty high class. I wonder what these people do for a living. Oh, probably lawyers, doctors, plastic surgeons. Hey, blue bloods. No, 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 I, I insist. You, you go for it, Susan. I know I haven't been around much. It's not because of the internship. It's something else. Susan, you can tell me. Eric. Eric, I've been seeing a doctor. They found a tumor. It's cancer. What? So what's gonna happen? Next week I go in for surgery. Next week? Susan, why didn't you tell me? I don't know! I don't know how to explain how I feel right now, Eric. It's kind of complicated. I didn't know how to tell you, I guess. Okay. So what's the outlook? Are you gonna be okay? Doctors say it's about 50-50. <laughs> you know, it's so strange. Half preparing for a future and then half preparing. So, what were you gonna tell me? I... I think we should see other people. This is really weird. I didn't say stop.